วัสดีครับ Good afternoon everyone uh, And we are back um, to report the first quarter after we miss one quarter I guess due to COVID uh, We will go through the result first um, the first quarter is how what the impact it has on the um, key operating results as well as the um, financial and then we touch on the outlook a little bit uh, toward the back uh, how we tackle this um, issue at hand uh, I'll, I'll go into the <coughs> assessing assessment of the impact from the COVID. Uh, obviously, we, I guess, it's, it's like everyone else. Uh, the walk gets impacted quite, quite severely. Uh, we have seen the number of walks. That means um, <clears throat> uh, footfalls. Uh, people who visited the projects um, <clears throat> uh, counts of, of those uh, visitors. You see that it ramped up to to the peak um, around mid year, and then it's been sliding down actually after after around mid year, and then <clears throat> the COVID, which started in China around uh, late late two thousand nineteen, um, started outbreaking in in uh, Thailand, uh, in Bangkok uh, around. Um, January, the, the first few countries that got impacted. And uh, the full blown in Thailand was around March, where uh, everyone stay at home. You hardly see people walking on the streets. You hardly see cars running on the running down the roads. Uh, so obviously, the the interest has has died down a bit in the first quarter obviously <clears throat> now we mapping a uh, number of bookings onto the same same graph booking means you know the the pre-sales uh, in terms of unit uh, taking percentage of booking over number of walks we get the dotted line um, which is what we call conversion rate okay um, <clears throat> the the what you call it slide the down downturn which started in around june um uh pretty much as i was we might we might have touched on uh earlier uh during the full year results uh <clears throat> some might wonder what how how could a um thai developer has an impact on the trade war I would explain it this way that uh, uh, our customer base, mainly um, business owners uh, or um, executives, uh, top executive of, of uh, a company, um, they obviously well informed of what's going on around the world, which uh, when, when there some uncertainty in the futures of the economy, not only local, I guess we all know that um, <clears throat> uh, no one can stand in isolation anymore. Um, so we all connected somehow economically. So when when there's uncertainty happens and people pause in terms of spending, especially for big ticket items like you know twenty million baht house. Okay, uh, obviously we we see um, very low conversion rate throughout, pretty much throughout 2019 uh, due to trade war between US and China. Um, the spike you see uh, around mid-year, which is uh, June, was the was an, an one-off one event that we had launching the brand new condominium, if you recall, uh, the most is the um, is the name of our, our new brand for low rise uh, condominium, <clears throat> very specific target. Now this is 
probably different from from other high-rise condominiums that you might have seen by done by other developers which are mostly along the BTS along the the SkyTrain I should say uh, this one is actually a unique uh, condom low-rise condominium uh, within within one kilometers from uh, one of the largest uh, hospital namely Siri Rat uh, so you can as you can see the the target for this condominium is is different from those uh, condominium that along the sky train um, <clears throat> we see quite strong interest uh, at when at the launch and uh, we in the process of building uh, the the condominium <clears throat> target to be transferred the first few units probably by late uh, fourth quarter uh, looking into uh, first quarter's uh, conversion rate on the bottom right hand corner of the screen you see that uh, although number of walks has come down uh, as low as the level we saw in the first quarter of 2019 but uh, the, the good news is that it's actually uh, rising uh, I guess it's, it's, it's not that surprising in terms of uh, uh, rising conversion rate because toward the end of the quarter we started to do online uh, uh, platform in terms of marketing uh, we we let customers interested customer to to view the um, units available uh, online and especially for those who have already probably have been uh, seen have been seeing our products before uh, with some uh, special price or good deal uh, they make decision easier so that's why we, we started to see some rising in terms of conversion rate <clears throat> uh, and the rise coming from which segment uh, some might have that question uh, these four charts that we see on the screen right now, the, 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 the top one is actually the single detached houses segment. Um, the middle one with that where you see the logo defined, that's Nirvana defined, which is our high-end um, <clears throat> townhouse. Uh, price range from 7 up to around 15 million baht per unit. And the bottom chart is Novana at work, which is the um, uh, home office uh, product that we put on to the market, and the one, the, the big graph on the right uh, is the condominium, and now you can see the the spike in the, around mid year coming from the most, which we just talked about, <clears throat> the the golden kind of a yellow uh, is the banyan tree. Uh, ultra luxury segment condominium the green chart is the um, <clears throat> the, the, the low-rise condominium which I talked about as you can see uh, these are this this all on the landed segment on the left uh, side of the screen is on the same scale the the bar in the back is the a bottom out in, in, in million and while the line is the unit of the uh, pre-sales unit obviously the the uh, townhouse is the most popular especially in um, March I guess uh, this is something that we we see some positive development in terms of pre-sales right now um, I guess coming uh, in, in, in every crisis there's always opportunities uh, we see migration from uh, condominium, which is very, um, what you call it, uh, in, um, congested in terms of residents, uh, might look for something that is more um, private, uh, less sharing of the central facilities. So um, for those who may be a single um, a single um, uh, individual or a, a young couple 
who have been living in a uh, one or two bedrooms condominium uh, in the center of the town might opt for something that is uh, in about the same price range, um, uh, eight to ten something million baht, and get um, <clears throat> space, usable space of up to actually 300 square meters. That's how 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 big uh, of our townhouse. Uh, the reason why is 300 square meters because it's uh, three and a half stories. So different different type of uh, of uh, dwelling place, but uh, it offers something that that is quite quite attractive, I would say. And the location of this particular one, we, we only have one uh, location of Nova 95 at the, at, for the time being, which is uh, on along the brand new road uh, called Sinakarin Romgrau, uh, new road, which connecting uh, CBD to the uh, Suanakum airport. So obviously it's within the outer ring, um, so it's not that far. In terms of obviously, it's not it's not as convenient as being in the CBD, but you the trade off is quite uh, compelling in terms of usable space. So we see the 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 rise in terms of conversion rates coming from townhouse segment. Uh, what the, the the few things that we have already done uh, in the first quarter was the the online platform. Uh, which we like to uh, use the catch phrase, catch phrase of the new normal. Uh, it's basically a new channel that uh, customer can can come in and look at the uh, project, and if they come in meaning uh, online, and if they still uh, hesitated to come close to any person or any sales uh, consultant, they could call in and and have a video review uh, through some some um, online platform that they can they can view the the uh, houses or the townhouse live and talk to the sale on 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 um, on the spot <clears throat> so that's that's what we we transform basically offline to online and and uh, we will touch on this a little bit down the line. Uh, it has very good in terms of um, efficiencies in OPEX as well. Uh, when we don't, we were not talking about large out of home medias, which consume a lot of um, uh, dollars in terms of um, selling expenses. Uh, we can do away with uh, much more uh, effective uh, means through online. I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit more. Um, <clears throat> so, in terms of financials, I'm going to go through this quite briefly because we already talked about uh, financial in in the opportunity days uh, last week. But uh, uh, what we have here is we put um, we line up the revenues total revenue. Uh, from the first quarter of 2018 uh, all the way to 2020 okay first quarter of 2020 you can see the the, the movement of the, um, the revenue because of, this explains everything that uh, 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 come up down the line in terms of cost in terms of ex expenses um, <clears throat> you can see that the, the revenue recognition abilities i should say uh, has been impacted quite a bit okay it's not only decision of the customers to to transfer it's also the ability of the customer to transfer as well what i mean by that is uh it's we seeing um a little bit um uh tougher in terms of uh bank loan uh, post financing loan that customer gets from the banks, so so obviously it impacted uh, the revenue significantly. Now from the total revenue, <clears throat> uh, the lighter blue area uh, from the bottom up, 
as you see, 319 in the first quarter of this year is the revenue from uh, transfer of title deeds. The rest, which is quite minimal in, in, in the first quarter of this year, uh, are those uh, secondary re revenue stream that we are still incubating in terms of construction services and uh, sales of uh, building materials. Now, dissecting that down a little bit further in terms of uh, revenue composition, the, <clears throat> the blue one on the very bottom is the what we call um, uh, landed residential revenue from coming from single house, coming from townhouse and, at, and, and the home offices. Uh, the gold section is the uh, high rise, which mainly Banyan tree residences, okay, and the brown area is the is the land uh, transaction. Uh, in the first quarter, we we did uh, uh, sell some part of our land <coughs> that uh, uh, as part of our uh, asset maximization um, uh, strategy. So you can see that um, about all about 60% of the revenue in the first quarter of this year was uh, coming from a very, very high uh, gross margin. Um, that's how <coughs> uh, the gross margin is shot up a little bit, although the revenue is quite low in terms of percent in percentage term. Now, this is the, the revenue in the, in the um, larger scale that you can probably see a little bit better. Obviously, you see 60% 60 60 down in terms of uh, revenue year on year. Um, higher mix of, uh, uh, higher proportion of the high margin revenue cause the <coughs> uh, blended gross margin to spike up a little bit. But as I said, uh, probably nothing to, to remark about because the revenue is too low. Um, the, art, the, the other income that you see in the first quarter was basically the, the uh, forfeit um, uh, deposit from the high-rise units uh, that uh, some bleach in, in SPA that customer didn't really uh, transfer the unit uh, in time or decided not to transfer the unit. So we, we, we take that uh, deposit in as a other income. Other than that would be just interest income and uh, maybe some slice uh, um, revenue coming from the parking, park and ride structures, the first one that we, we launched. This is the, the, re, the, the revenue that we were trying to incubate, as I mentioned earlier. The selling expense, uh, although it's down 30% year on year, but in terms of uh, percentage to revenue is still significant. Uh, but most more uh, relevant comparison of this line should be uh, to pre-sales. And if you're talking selling expense to pre-sales, we still in the same range of about 20% year uh, uh, this year, as well as the first quarter last year. The admin also down 20%, but 40% uh, of the revenue. Uh, this one, we, we have done a lot of measures to try to curve it down. And we already seeing some, some good development starting in April. Uh, for <coughs> for um, May, should be a little bit down further. I'll touch on this uh, later in the Outlook section. The interest expense, which is the last item, uh, last significant items on the p and uh, it's also down uh, 40%. This is 14%. This is basically the, um, the uh, impact coming from the BOT policy rate, which has come down 100 basis points uh, over the year, which is good for us. <clears throat> So the net profit uh, to the entire company, talking about eight million baht net net loss, I should say, for the first quarter this year, compared to net profit of seventy eight million baht 
tas ya. Um, in terms of uh, balance sheet, uh, on the left um, <coughs> column would be the uh, asset side, obviously. On the right column is the uh, liabilities and equity. Um, I won't go, probably won't go into details of that and leave that to the questions. But one point I want to stress on this page is that the land bank of 274 rights or uh, let me put on my class a little bit, um, 108 acres uh, piece of land uh, could be developed into about 35 billion baht worth of projects down the line. Now comparing that uh, to revenue scale of about 3 billion baht a year. So you can see that uh, we we have land bank that lasts us for for many years to come still, which is good. Um, but on for those who look at things a little bit less positive, I say, uh, liquidation values of this land, which is quite liquid, okay? Um, you can see that 205 rights or about 80 something acres <clears throat> along a brand new road, 15 minutes to the airport. This is upcoming road for Bangkok, brand new. Um, so it's quite liquid in terms of, um, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, if, if, if anything happens to the economy uh, through um, COVID or through any other means, uh, we have net asset value of about 5 billion or almost 5.5 billion. Uh, net asset value, we means um, <clears throat> the uh, market value of these land banks uh, minus the loan against it. And so, so it's, we, we should be in pretty good um, position if anything that serious happened. Uh, these are details of the PNL. Uh, I leave it to you for your reading pleasure afterward. Um, I rather talk to you about the outlook and maybe entertaining the questions uh, after this. Um, <clears throat> we still talking about um, 10 billion baht uh, in terms of av available for sales and with the backlog of almost 2 billion baht. Uh, waiting to be transferred in the next few quarters. Um, the, as I mentioned, the um, tactics or what, what, what you, ha what have you in terms, if you want, if you like to call it strategies, is that we we launch an online platform. Uh, you can view this unit, the actual unit, uh, uh, with walkthrough and blah blah blah. That's uh, I think tonight or, or, or in the next um, uh, few days, we will have a uh, live streaming of uh, our uh, home office. If you're interested, you can check out on our uh, website there, nirvana.ie.com. Uh, you can see for yourself um, what it's like. This is something is quite, which is quite uh, exciting for us. Um, this is, as you can see, is just two guys working on um, on a piece of huge land. Okay, uh, obviously this is not um, typical residential um, development like like you might have seen. <clears throat> what we're trying to do is that we we try to break away from this, uh, depending on this segment alone, by developing a new revenue stream coming from construction service, in this case for gas stations. Uh, <clears throat> we, we put in some, we, we actually capitalizing on the precast capabilities of our factories in the Corn uh, uh, For this example, that's, as you can see on the pictures on the right, uh, pieces of uh, waste treatment chambers. So typically these uh, water treatment chambers are being casted on site uh, with um, conventional ways of uh, building 
uh, probably something you can if you can relate to uh, swimming pool. But uh, we put in um, some innovate innovation <coughs> uh, in house that we cast that these pieces these pieces from the the factories and we put them together create um, uh, weight, waste treatment chambers. This thing can be done within a week. Okay, as opposed to casting on site could take up to one month. Um, <clears throat> this is something that we use uh, quite strongly in terms of our sales into uh, uh, construction service uh, of a segment that unrelated to uh, residential property development, different cycle. Um, we believe that this, this, should, this should help us uh, down the line to lessen the impact of the cyclicality of the real estate sector. These are uh, another thing that we, we try to do from the revenue side. This, this, this past uh, three slides are actually our tactics to try and increase revenue somehow. Um, one, one thing that we that, that was a big decision for the top management in the past two months was that we, uh, we have a um, um, sizable load of people, of staff, that we, while we have, while we see less in terms of demand, so obviously less construction, less, uh, less sales functions. Uh, I guess for us from the, this side of the world, uh, cutting the workforce uh, up straight away is probably not something that 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 we would like to do. Um, so we rather uh, keeping the team. Uh, obviously, the um, the what you call it the 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 relevant or the the, the worthwhile group. Um, obviously, we have to let go of some of the non-performing staff, um, but uh, the performing staff we like to keep them around. When it when the when the upturn comes, we're ready to to tackle. Uh, but we allocate them differently. <clears throat> for those, uh, for example, for those uh, engineers who have less work to do at site, we convert them into something uh, that uh, can generate some extra revenue in terms of what we call Beyond Services. Beyond Services is actually um, a package of services that we try to add value to the, to the sales of our uh, houses. It could, this particular case is basically uh, those guys going out to spray customers' uh, houses and cars so, so that sanitize their assets and so they can be more peace and uh, peaceful in terms of uh, infection to the COVID-19. Uh, but it's not only stopped there. We we also thinking of um, <clears throat> providing car wash uh, service on site at, at the customer's house. Uh, obviously, some, some of them we, we do it ourselves. Some of them we outsource. Uh, we could do uh, property management services uh, for our own project that we have already sold out in the past. Or once we master that, master that we can go out and try to um, make sales with those juristic entities of the um, um, nearby projects. That's, that's also another uh, opportunities that we're looking into. Or gardening service or cleaning service. Right now, uh, what we're doing at our um, <clears throat> um, model units or sales office uh, for across the portfolio is that we cut down in terms of cleaning service that we outsource to the third party. Uh, we convert some of our staff internally into a specific a special team that go around and, and do deep cleaning once a week um, uh, while the daily cleaning uh, was <coughs> assigned to the sales uh, girls that um, position at the site, maybe they can do some 
cleaning before they go home or when they, the first thing they come to the sales office. That's the kind of thing that we have been doing to curve down SGNA as well as um, as well as you know um, for some case uh, raising extra revenue somehow. The last part from the revenue side is the new segment. Okay, we got mandate from the from the board that we we could. Um, of, of course, we will focus on the landed uh, residential development, but uh, some might argue that lowest sec lowest segment for us, which is the townhouse, which I already mentioned, starting price is seven million baht, uh, could arguably uh, uh, be considered as still pretty high end. So we we thinking, uh, uh, we studying, I should say. Uh, down further in terms of uh, spectrum, um, we we could capitalize on the precast capabilities internally, and uh, uh, penetrate lower segment less than five million baht. Now this could be townhouse, could be uh, twin house. Uh, it depends on the <clears throat> on the land that we come across. We're not in a rush to to jump into this red sea. But when the opportunity presents itself, we will we will uh, uh, take that. Okay. Now, in terms of OPEX, uh, the the new brands, which are the high end, um, we we if if you follow us uh, closely, uh, we have um, <clears throat> Nirvana Beyond, which is the single detached houses, three stories. Uh, price range right now starting from uh, 15 million baht to maybe 40, 35, 40 million baht in terms of uh, Nirvana Beyond brand. Uh, we have um, townhouse 7 to 15 million baht, um, but anything between uh, 15 uh, million baht to about you know 20 million baht, we don't we don't have a lot. So we, we thought we would slot in um, uh, alternative um, Nirvana Absolute, uh, which is less uh, less pricey in terms of um, um, uh, uh, price tag. So that uh, we have um, more complete spectrum. <clears throat> uh, and also we add um, Nirvana collection on top of Nirvana Beyond. That basically to answer needs and requirement of uh, maturing um, cus beyond customer uh, per se, uh, so that the, the the product spectrum would be uh, more complete. But these are new brands, and we would uh, require quite a bit of um, um, dollars in terms of building this brand. So we decided to postpone it, okay? While Nirvana element with the price range the same as townhouse, but in alternative type of um, living space, we go ahead with it, okay? <clears throat> so you can, you will I think in a matter of months or so you will see a launch of Nirvana element, which is two stories house single house. Um, uh, in Bangna area. Now, one one thing I might want to touch on uh, in terms of OPEX uh, from on this point is that we we like to develop from here onward uh, what we call township. Okay, rather than rather than um, developing one project at one site, we rather doing multiple project in one site in one area. Okay. Uh, the Kuntep Grita, you can see that a lot, there will be seven or eight projects uh, in the same uh, vicinities. But uh, for Bangna, uh, the plan right now, uh, talking about three or four. Okay, good thing about this is that we can share resources. Um, one sales um, engineer head, one sales head, uh, uh, project manager uh, can handle multiple projects in one site. So obviously you uh, in terms of uh, OPEX is much more efficient. <clears throat> we 
get a uh, full range of uh, product spectrum in one area as well. So we, we rather doing it that way from here onward. This is the area of the uh, SGNA. Okay, um, as I promised earlier, um, we talked about selling expense. <clears throat> uh, you can see that uh, uh, out of home is the first thing that obviously company cuts when it comes to difficulties. Uh, we also the same way. Uh, <clears throat> but instead, we, we move it online. And, uh, and it's proven so far quite, attractive, uh, quite effective. Um, people actually adopting that new normal, uh, literally. So some of the internal team that I was talking earlier that uh, less work, same amount of people, we convert them into in-house media production. So, so <clears throat> right now they're producing um, clips and uh, many other things uh, in terms of marketing and sales uh, to be put on the website. So it's proven quite, quite um, effective and quite, quite uh, working out nicely to curve down selling expense. The, in terms of admin, administrative uh, expenses, as I, as I mentioned earlier, uh, gardening, uh, cleaning, we turn part of the team into in-house cleaning service go around a uh, project one, once a week. Uh, the top management itself um, uh, did give some uh, salary cut. Actually, we, we, did, we did cut uh, salaries across the board, about 15%. Uh, but the top management uh, forego extra in terms of benefits that, that we, we get uh, to help a company uh, going through this tough time um, a little bit easier and lean the organization. Uh, everything, anything, any redundancy in the, in the process, we clean it up. So I guess it's, it's like, like, like the, the old proverb that there's uh, always opportunities in the crisis. This is the, the time that we clean up everything, lean the, up, uh, lean the org chart. Uh, improve the process. Uh, a little bit, a glimpse into the future. Uh, we talked about these uh, slides earlier as, as the first slide. Um, uh, for April, conversion rate is even higher than March. Uh, for, for May, uh, that we have the prelim number coming out around right now, uh, it stay at the, about the same level as the April. So that's quite encouraging in terms of um, uh, conversion rate in terms of ability to pre uh, booking and pre-sales. <clears throat> uh, it's still to be seen whether these um, are quality backlog or not. Are we ab able to convert them in, transfer them into revenue or not? Uh, I have to admit that um, not not easy as as it used to be um <clears throat> so i would not i would not guide any any huge turnaround in the near future uh um but we do everything that we can to to in our capabilities to convert those backlog into uh revenue that concludes my presentation and i guess i go into um uh, questions. Uh, starting from the first one, how many blank lands do you have now? Can you please estimate valuation? I guess we already have uh, that slide. Um, I think around, let me see, it's a wrap. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, this should answer all the out the uh, question for number one. Um, number two, how many projects delayed due to COVID? I guess two, okay, collection and uh, absolute, which we discussed. Number three, as economic slowdown, may I ask 
about your strategy for boosting sales. Um, we touched on that also. Boosting sales, uh, obviously you cannot, I guess as apart from online, uh, which we already talked about, uh, uh, I guess you cannot really avoid uh, um, uh, sales uh, discount strategy. We have to admit that, I mean, you know, at, in this time, in this time of crisis, uh, obviously you cannot really, I mean, um, you cannot really expect margin to be as high as it is in the normal times. Um, right now, I guess part of the reason why the conversion rate goes up is that uh, there, are some bo there are some bottom fissures in the market right now. We actually seeing uptake in, in even in a single uh, ha single home segment. Um, whenever we have special deals, the the booking comes. So I don't I don't um, I don't deny that we we have to use pricing strategy a little bit. <clears throat> After the government lift the lockdown, do you have any promotion to boost sales for second half of this year? Um, of, of course, uh, uh, we already seeing that um, <clears throat> uh, upsurge in the in the in the interest. So uh, one thing about Nirvana um, products is that uh, it's quite unique. Uh, it's not it's not a mass mass type of products. Whoever asked that question, uh, whenever you come. If you if you have a chance, you, you should uh, have a look at our products, and you understand. If you if you are abroad, then you have to wait until COVID nineteen dies down first. Then you come back. You come to Bangkok. Uh, you will see. Uh, let us know, and uh, we will we'll show you what it's like. We we like to we like to call that we are in the uh, mass segment of the niche segment. Okay, if you know what I mean, it's not a luxury uh, chandelier type of the house. It's it's more of a what we call high end modern home, which uh, uh, the price point is not for everybody, but um, <clears throat> there's a market for it. <clears throat> uh, thank you for the presentation regarding you have launched Novana Online Booking House. The response from the customers. Any marketing plan to encourage people to use this platform? If yes, could you please also elaborate on the marketing expenses? Hmm. Um, we we building uh, a part of the part of the marketing the online platform is that we 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 try to build membership base. Okay, and. Uh, Obviously, uh, adhering to the um, <clears throat> PDPA, uh, we we do give special deal uh, to these guys. For example, uh, if you understand our product segment is high end, uh, any customer who wants to up upgrade their sanitary wear from, say, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I should not uh, uh, specific specify the name of the sanitary where maybe simply upgrade from one to another which is higher in price. Uh, if you are a member of this um, our online platform, you could get you could enjoy the rate of uh, uh, you could enjoy the price as uh, almost equal to the cost that the project gets, for example. Okay, if 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 if, if you follow me closely you you see uh, uh, this segment you have to you you have to be more or less like a customized um, uh, uh, service. We we give them flexibilities to to upgrade here and there, and with, with that upgrade, they if you are on a member in an online platform, then you can enjoy the low price as low as the cost that we get. Okay. Uh, last question, right? Uh, I don't know if I have the time or not. Um, do you have any measure to safeguard employee against COVID-19 situation? We already talked about that, thank God. So my time is out. I guess uh, uh, thank everyone for listening to me for the past 45 minutes. 
Any other questions, uh, feel free to contact our investor relations team. Uh, their contact numbers is right on the website. Uh, send us an email or call in, whichever suits you. For that, thank you very much. Uh, see you next quarter. Fadi Kap.